Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look at the radial blur, which basically blurs in a circle. We'll have a look at it here. Let's put it straight on, life filters and radial blur. As you can see, this it's only limited amount of control here. All we can do is turn the, the angle up here. And as we turn it, it rotates the picture, spins it up. It actually spins in both directions at once, which you might not want here, but we can control that. Preserve alpha. Look at these sort of transparency around here. Alpha is transparency. So if I click on that. There you go. That stops that going funny. I go back down again for as well, because if I go over here, look at the cursor. See, it's different. It's got a little cross thing on it. If I click on a point here, unsurprisingly, that just moves where the rotation is about. So that's where we want it. So I'm going to turn it up here, yeah, around about five, something like that will do. And then we're going to zoom in. There we go, let's correct that so I can see what's going on. And I don't want everything to spin, so I'm going to change the mask on this to black by going to layer and invert. So that's gone black now, go back to the original picture. You can see there's actually there's a little bit of motion blur, but we're exaggerating that. Now to bring back that blur, I want to paint white on this. So I need to get white here, a brush here, white please, thank you very much. Um, opacity, fully up, hardness, yeah, around about the middle, 46, 50, doesn't have to be exact. Then I'm going to make this brush a bit bigger here. I'm going to click here, then shift click to the end to draw a line. Then click here and shift click to that. And then I'm going to paint, see what else comes in here. I'm trying to avoid painting over this because I don't want to make it look like that's turning. So same here. Get the blur going out there and down to here. I'm not going all the way into the middle because I don't want to look like make it look like the, the thing down there is doing. So I do want to get all of all of this in here. And you can just do hand hand do bits as well. You can just do it all by hand if you want to. Yeah, just take that off there. There we go. And there we go. That's the basic thing done. Um, if we alt click on here, we can see where we've gone. We can sort of make corrections here. Anything you've filled in, or if you've gone a little bit far on something, you can always switch back to black and go, I don't think I wanted that bit on there. I can tidy this up around here. Um, but blurring the sky usually has very little effect. But if you can see it, you can always correct it. And let's go back to white. I can bring the opacity down a bit if I want to just like blur it, take part of that effect. Oops, control Z. I was painting there on this. You have to make sure you have the just that layer sele selected. If you're getting, it looks like an exagger exaggerated effect, that means that's what's happening. And I'll come in here and I'll do a little bit of painting down here just to get a little bit of blur to this. So the middle bits aren't just stuck stationary. There we go. And uh, you can leave it at that. Or you could try just to give a little bit of more leading edge on this. So in fact, I'm going to go to here to, to show this. I'll click on this because the list of the leading edge down here. So I'm going to go to a black brush, take it down to around about 20%. Just going to show you this first. Notice this, you see here, this has gone a bit gray in here. So let's go back to this, take the black brush and I'm going to paint back along here. I'm going to do it with Alt click there. So I just do it on the bit that I can see there. smaller. There we go. Shift click back to that and that and shift click back to that. That and shift click back to that and click on that. Just make sure I do it along the same edge as I've got. 
blurred there. It's a bit easier to see on this. And there you go. See, there's a little bit more darkness come in there. Yeah. So just exaggerate that a little bit. So when you zoom out, you can see the leading edge a bit more strongly. I could even go do a little bit more down there just to bring that back. No, Control Z undo. You can always do that. Anyway, there we go. One blurring radial windmill. Thank you very much for watching.